Hello and welcome to the show. We are here today on Forza Horizon 4 with another team adventure. This time all about the American cars. We are racing A-class American vehicles and I am driving a Bronco. My theory being that I could get a half decent amount of power in the Bronco. We'd have the off-road well, the off-road race tyres, the rally tyres. It's slightly different on this being an off-road specialised vehicle. Either way, my hope is that we get on the dirt. And my hope is that it'll be powerful enough and just about good enough handling on the tarmac to still be fairly competitive. I'm not the only one who has had the idea. There's another Bronco on uh, on the dastardly blues. Well, in bright green, just for added confusion and everything. However, um, yeah, I don't know whether this idea is going to work. It's a little bit of a gamble. It's a little bit of a gamble, this. I've got about 500 and... Oh, that's a lot quicker than me in a straight line. However, I suspect not so good when we get to the dirt. Ooh, oh, that's a really... I'm very, very sorry to our <laughs> team car. Fun unghosting. Uh, have you heard? I don't like the ghosting. I think it's a terrible, terrible thing that shouldn't be in the game. Yeah, I don't like the, uh, the ghosting system at the start of the race. I think it's awful. Uh, <laughs> I could go on about it again. I'm going to try not to. I apologise to our uh, heavy cuda that ended up in the wall. Oh, this is going to be some bravery, and this is going to be me out of grip, I suspect, uh, up the top of the course. Yeah, I don't have a huge... I had hoped for perhaps a little bit more grip in this. Certainly I'd hoped if I didn't have the grip, I'd have a little bit more straight-line speed. And I fear I might not. However, we should be good when we come off-road. That's what I'm praying for here. Should be half decent uh, when we go off-road. Let's try and get it stopped down here. We'll make life difficult for the Chevy. I mean, I'm not going to give, <laughs> give it an easy pass here. If I can help it, if I can help it at all, we're not going to be giving it a, uh, an easy an easy pass. We need some more points, Red Team. We do need some more points. I mean, if I can hold back the onrushing horde. We have got a red car to the front. I could really do with fighting with the other of the... Oh, other of the Broncos, if I could get close enough. That would that would do us the world of good if I could get past. We are now ahead in terms of points, but who knows how long it's going to last. Uh, we got a couple more laps to try and cling on. Cling on for dear life in this, uh, in this race. Uh, I only have five gears. Thankfully, 150 is all I need around this circuit. And to be perfectly honest, it's probably about all you need for most Forza circuits. Uh, even with an A-class vehicle, you're probably not going to need that much more. Forza Horizon 4 gives you many technical circuits. Not that many outright high-speed tracks. That Chevy is annoyingly closer than it was last time around. It may come down... I mean, if I lose a place and nothing else changes, we would still win. Uh, however, you know, don't want to lose any places, uh, basically. We're just going to park it on the apex there because the Chevy doesn't have the grip to go around the outside. Well, the Chevy might have the grip to go to get alongside me on the outside, but certainly can't outdrag me on an exit of a corner. So we will defend where we need to and not over-defend. Like here, for example, uh, I don't actually need to defend the corner. I do need to stop for the corner, though. Uh, <laughs> Okay, well, I thought I was being a little cautious under brakes there, and it turned out apparently not quite so much. Again, I'll hug the inside through that bit, use our acceleration up the hill, and this is why I can't afford to lose a place, because uh, now we are only 50 points in the lead. Bugger and blast and all of them, all of them things. Come on, Bronco. You can do it. Cling on to a podium. Cling on to a podium in this race. We need, we need a podium. I was defending thin air a little bit there. Uh, there is uh, there's, there's fights going on at the back. I mean, this is kind of one of the this is one of the joys of team adventures is that fights everywhere can actually matter. Fight over 11th place could make the difference in this race. For example, which team gets that last hundred points could make a world of difference in this. For example, if I end up getting past here, uh, we would still be okay if we can hold on to an 11th place spot. Uh, I am hoping to hold on to a podium spot. I don't think I have the pace of the Atomic. I think I could possibly fight with the other... Bro I mean, I'd hope so. Let's face it, similar cars. I made a couple of mistakes and we have been having to fend off oh, that Chevy behind us for the last part of this race. I've been kind of defending thin air here just to make sure it will be enough for us if everything stays as it is as we head across the finish line for me. At the time I finish, it's enough for us. A first and a third is, you know, not a bad finish whatsoever. Uh, one of our Chevys gets up to 6th, Pontiac GTO in 8th, 
Uh, Hemi Kuda in ninth. Well, everybody on our team scores some points. We win. It's close, though. It's very, very close indeed. Let's hope the Bronco works off-road better than it does on-road. I mean, I'd expect it in comparison to everyone else. So, here we go. On to our second round. The Ashbrook Loop Scramble is the next venue of choice. A interesting circuit. It's fast. It's quite hilly in a lot of places, but you've got a dirt section. You're gonna have, you're gonna want to have grip on the dirt section because it's not a slow dirt section. I don't know how well the uh, the Bronco will fare here. Uh, Blue team do have a limo as well, which might be fun to have to try and overtake. In fact, I've got to overtake a lot of stuff because I'm starting right down the order. We're not quite at the very back, but there we go. Uh, we will make the most of our Bronco's acceleration to be sneaky and punch our way up through some of the field before we get to turn one and on the exit of turn one and uh, that will see us up to eighth place uh, now we will overtake our teammate uh it won't give us any points oh yeah i think we all came out of ghost mode i had to slightly <laughs> i do apologize I keep forgetting we're going to get spat out of sorry, i apologize i mean i think both of us forgot that we were both going to get spat out of ghost mode at potentially awkward times i do not climb the hill very well in the bronco i'm surprised i was hoping for better straight line speed although i guess a lot of cars in this I mean, i'm used as i am used to a lot of often a class cars you know i'll tend to build quite high grip a class cars uh, but most things in this race are more power based than our average car so <laughs> everything is quicker up the hill in comparison oh this is yeah this is the i love this stage I love this bit of the uh, of the of the circuit. It's sketchy as anything, though. Uh, the other Bronco doesn't look very happy on the dirt. The other Bronco weirdly looked fast, despite the much more ground clear, as much more serious off-road look on that thing. That was much happier on the tarmac. Oh, I'm gonna get nudged wide. That's what I needed. Uh, while trying to get underneath the uh, green Bronco, couldn't do it. Um, our Chevy is struggling, while Blue Team's is bloody fast by the looks of it. Uh, we really need a oh, little bit of lag going on there. Uh, we will just sit. Oh, well, I've got much choice. Oh, that's in, that's a cobblestone wall that you don't want to have to fight with. Uh, I think the atomic, even on the dirt, the atomic around the circuit, the atomic is fast. Uh, we've got a good run here. Uh, he's going to cover the inside, which is fair to do. He's got across. Oh, got across in front of me, and I misjudged how much speed I could take around there. I'm not the only one though. Uh, <laughs> fiddling around with my line was not a good idea there. Okay, we need to beat the limo, really. We need a second and third for Red Team if we just stand a chance here. Unfortunately, I think a lot of our cars further back are struggling. So we might be able to get me and the Atomic get a half-decent finish, but whether the cars further back can or not, I don't know. We could do with a blue, couple of blue cars missing checkpoints. Uh, is easily done around here, is easily done, especially at some of the high-speed sections. The limo looks actually half decent on the dirt compared to our Atomic, for example. That's the one we kind of got to compare to, to it at the moment. We've got a good run. Uh, <laughs> I don't think it's going to matter. You can try and cover the inside. Uh, I'm going to get through on that one. Uh, <laughs> oh, we will miss a gear on the exit. I forgot how short the gears were. The other Bronco will fire back. Yeah, we can't. I mean, even if we get second and third, which I think we will probably have the speed to do here. And some very late moves going on. I have half a mind to turn the other Bronco if it comes across me again. Um, but even if we even if we could fight our way up to a second and third, we can't score enough points. Uh, none of our cars further back are working on the dirt. We've got to hope that they all work well enough on the time. There might have been some missed checkpoints, I don't actually know. Uh, judging by certainly one of our cars has probably missed a checkpoint, judging by how far back it is. Um, Oh, okay, so the limo and the atomic fighting is bringing them back towards me, which is... I mean, it kind of gives us half a chance if we can get clear of the lime green gun. The atomic does not look fun on the dirt. This, like, this circuit is probably not the worst dirt track the atomic could face, as it is... Um, well, let's say it's half, it's half tarmac, half dirt. Uh, it's, not, let's say it's not the worst. It is sketchy fast dirt in places. It is very sketchy, fast dirt in places for the for the Atomic. Uh, we will get underneath. The Atomic's had a big moment there. That will release us up into third. Now, if it could hold off uh, hold off the cars behind, it'll be way quicker than me on the tarmac. And this is the difficult bit. Do I let the Atomic go? I mean, certainly when it wasn't fighting with the limo, it probably is faster over the course of a lap than me. If anything, I'm hoping it will just breeze past down a straight somewhere so I don't lose time. It doesn't lose time. It's a win-win for everybody. It probably will get me up the hill, actually. 
Uh, so if I give it plenty of space, if you want to go around the outside, if you've got the straight line speed and the grip to do that, go for it. No time lost. Christ. No time lost, but new underwear needed, I think, is the, uh, <laughs> is the outcome of that. Jeez, that thing is slidey. We have got some speed going up forward here. We have got speed. I think we are quicker than the leader. I'd be curious to know fastest lap. Sadly, we never will in Team Adventures because uh, all four of us have got speed in very different places. All four of us have got speed in very different places around here. I'm probably the best through here, as we would expect from the Bronco. Uh, the Atomic Punk is very quick on the dirt, on the tarmac stage to start with. A limo's not bad at all. A limo's just good, kind of better overall. Uh, <laughs> this is a interesting little battle that is kind of constantly teetering up. We will actually get to the inside of the Tommy. I don't really want to be doing that, though. The Atomic, I'll give plenty of space to come back on the circuit. Right, go chase after that limo. This is ch We're just racing for pride. Blue team have got this in the bag, unless all of them miss checkpoints on this final lap, pretty much. Uh, oh, the leader's wide. The leader's wide at the first corner. There is a half, I say, half a chance. It's going to be a lot of work. The Atomic's going to have to do the trouser browning pass. Nope, can't do it. <laughs> it's not quite enough space to draw alongside the limo there. Um, can it have a dose of weird... It was like dust going around all the way. There's a strange uh, shadowing going on on the tyres of the Atomic. Uh, thankfully, I mean, it's Forza. It can't be anything untoward mechanically on a car. Uh, God. This could either... Well, it's, it's likely to be an exciting... It's likely to be an exciting finish. Something's going to happen. I don't know what. I don't know what. And unfortunately, I don't think anything that could get us enough points to win. We might end up fighting the Atomic more than the car that we really need to fight, which is that limo. Uh, we're going to try squeeze around the outside. I can't do it here. Uh, the limo, unfortunately, I think we've cost each other more. Ah, the problem is we cost each other more, but we're both fast in different places. Um, <laughs> we'll draw alongside. It won't matter. We'll get out dragged. Either way, it is going to be a first and second for blue team. Uh, we had good speed in the Bronco. The Bronco worked where I wanted it to. The Bronco worked out there. Unfortunately... The rest of the red team cars are garbage on the on the dirt. So we're going to have to win on the tarmac. So race number two, the Edinburgh Station Circuit and rain. Now, <laughs> I suspect we will have fun around here. I suspect we will have fun. There is a genuine concern, certainly for me and the other Bronco, of falling over. Uh, but You'd probably be surprised what might have issues around this particular circuit. Uh, Impega's limo starting on the front row. Uh, I mean, oh, actually, Impega's limo starting the front row. However, we can get a great launch. I don't think our muscle car can get off the line as well. This will get us. Oh, not quite. Of course, I forgot. I say I forget. Impega's limo has got some 600 horsepower and is also all-wheel drive. So <laughs> that limo is not slow getting going and probably better through the corners than my very heavy bro oh crap we're all out of ghost mode all oh, that corvette nearly got itself in a world of trouble uh, thankfully on the rally tire i mean most vehicles here will be running on off-road tires it makes sense because there will be off-road events and on off-road tires you do not probably have the grip to grip roll your weight up there again oh got away with it this time <laughs> almost for a third uh, say a third session um I think it's the... I've, I've hit there at least twice in previous... I don't think it was in a row, but we've hit there a few times in previous races. So if we can not hit that bit of wall, that would be good. Um, but yes, falling over in the rain normally requires some race tyres. Rally tyres, unlikely to give you a grip uh, required to go over. Certainly not unless your car is specially built for flipping over, which mine is not. I mean, it's got high camber. Oh, missed checkpoint. No, we didn't need that. Oh, bugger. I think we're in trouble here, folks. Uh, <laughs> Oh, there has been a disconnection, which is uh, even better. Disconnection, I think, from our side, which means that they will get a guarantee to, yeah, a blue team car can get last and we'll still get 100 points. Oh, well. <laughs> it was nice. It was nice racing. I think we're going to actually spend the rest of this chasing down a limo that we won't catch. I think the limo's better on the tarmac than we are. Uh, we are better on the dirt, of course, but on the tarmac... That limo is just a faster car than me. Uh, we have got the Atomic up into third. And we know how damn fast that thing is. It's, it's ridiculously quick. Uh, in, essentially, it's really quick in A-Class. Doesn't work up the hill climb stage. It doesn't have the grip 
for my hill climb stage. However, normal A-class racing it does work very, very well with. Uh, now can we... We might go quick up the hill climb if we could tune cars and so on, which we're not allowed to. Either way, I mean, it's... We've seen how fast it's been in this race so far. Our real only bet for Red Sea... Oh, it's gone. It's fallen back. Maybe a missed checkpoint or something. I mean, I... <laughs> when your Bronco is the last... When your Bronco trying to chase down a limo is the last... Is the last hope. The only hope of Red Team. You know Red Team's going to be in trouble. Uh, the Bronco's not bad, but it is not built for this. Unfortunately, we needed other cars able to score decent points, solid points in these rounds, and they just can't. They are just not scoring enough for us to stand a chance here. Yeah, there's loads of cars. I say loads of cars. I suspect three cars have missed checkpoints, judging by the gaps going on back there. Turn one is easy to do. You know, turn one is really, really easy to miss a checkpoint. You can cut in too soon. And because you want to be greedy, you want to try and straight line this chicane as much as you can. Uh, everyone does it. However, if you're a little too greedy, it's that checkpoint, and it is kind of game over. I mean, we are a long way we're a long way ahead of the car. <laughs> that lot behind, we are miles clear up at the front. Unfortunately, I'm probably a second a lap slower than the limo. So that will just gradually pull away from me, lap after lap, and without a missed checkpoint, even if a missed checkpoint befell the limo, wouldn't matter. I can't score enough points. <laughs> so if I win, we won't score enough points to be able to claim a victory around here. And bigger concern is the next race we go to the dirt. And, well, uh, the, the, the dirt will be my strong point, but probably not the team's. <laughs> Crap. Basically, well, the rain stopped at least. Not that rolling over ever really looked likely. Oh, we've gone a bit wide there. Yeah, I... We are where we are. It's no man's land for the remainder of this. We had a half an ish chance off the start line. If I could have stayed ahead of the limo, I could maybe have made it difficult for that to find a way past. It might well struggle to go around the outside of me, although it might just have dragged me down the back straight. Either way, you know, we couldn't. We couldn't get it off the line, and once behind, no hope of catching. It was a Chevy up in third. The Chevy was pretty good handling, so I'm kind of glad that's not around me. I am. Um, yeah, plenty glad we won't be seeing the Chevy causing us any grief. Yeah, it's a big old group of them back there. Oh well. <laughs> oh well. Can't do anything about this one. We've we've done as, as good a report as we can in, in, in the Bronco. It'll be a second. But it will not be enough points unless there is a massive amount of missed checkpoints going on for, for blue team cars. We go into the next round. Desperately, desperately needing a win. So, for what could be the final race, we've come to the Highland Farm Scramble. A track that might work for the Punk. That's kind of, it's important that the Atomic uh, <laughs> could be faster. Around. Might work for my Bronco. I'm worried about our other three cars because I don't think they work on the dirt particularly. Well, the Atomic starts at the front, which is nice. I didn't actually see where I start on the grid, so my hope is that we're vaguely close. Ah, we're not too bad. And I don't think we've got the other fast starting cars are further back, so we should be able to get a good launch towards the first corner, make up a few positions off of the old uh, Dastardly Blues, and hope that you don't pop out of ghost mode at a wonky time. Right, we're up to fourth. Are we going to be past the Hemicuda? We might be slightly through the Hemicuda when we go out of ghost mode. That all works. Okay. I'll be up to third. Now, we've had the charger behind us. I haven't actually had to try and overtake it yet, so I don't know what the charger's going to be like in terms of speed. This circuit is predominantly dirt around here. Well, we have got that little tarmac section that we just went through. It is a, a much more largely dirt circuit. Should work for my Bronco. Will probably also work for the, uh, for the blue team's Bronco. I'll try and get underneath the charger. Can't make it stick, though. You get a bit of a wobble on the uh, Atomic. Working wonders around here. Kind of surprised, actually, because I mean, this is this is quick. This is a quick another quick dirt circuit. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't necessarily want to be driving what looked like quite a handful on this sort of speed dirt corners. Uh, but the yeah, Atomic's just buggered off up at the front. There's been mayhem behind. Uh, <laughs> I need a second. 
desperately here. We have to, if we're going to really stand a chance here, I need to pass the dodge. I think I've got the speed to do it. I can afford, I can, sorry, I can afford to take my time. I do not want to take any risks here. I don't want to take any risks. Missing a checkpoint would be a disaster. It's about the only hope that our red team have got here is that we can all keep it together. We score some half decent points further down and we kind of rely on <laughs> me and Chris getting a 1-2 here. Uh, so we'll, we'll do what we can. We are currently a little bit behind, although if I do pass BVs, that will give me the... will give us the points required uh, for a win. Where are we going to do it? I'm going to go a little early on the brakes. That charger is not stopping down there. Uh, it will, unfortunately, get out of the wall just about well enough, although not, not quick. Got to get out of the wall better than I thought it would. It's not quick enough, though. Uh, Resident Disney is actually scoring some good points for us as well. I just noticed all the way up in fourth. That will help us if that can stay there. That was our Chevy, I think, uh, working a little bit more up the order here. Um, yeah, if we can keep that going, that would be grand. Now, of course, because we had someone disconnect from our team, that does actually give us a weird kind of advantage. Uh, talk about this. Oh, I've got a wobble going over a crest. That's not what I wanted. The charger can't hold quite the speed of ride. Um, yeah, the way the points are scored, the way the points work on Team Adventures, you gain 100 for every car you're ahead of. My team has less cars. The red team has less cars, so blue team actually have less points that they can uh, accrue, essentially, through this, even if they are leading the race. So, yeah, we kind of have a bit of an advantage in some ways, apart from the fact that our red team cars don't seem to work off-road uh, at all. That I say that well. I mean, Chris' cars are working wonderfully here. The rest of them are struggling around this dirt circuit. Uh, we, we've got the positions that we needed at the moment. It's going <laughs> to essentially fall to, uh, to to disc. If disc can keep up enough points, we will win and we will take this to a decider. If disc can't, then it will be game over to the Blues. And there is nothing I can do. I say there's nothing I can do. The one thing I can do, don't give up second. Don't make a mistake. Don't lose second place to... Um, to the Charger, because ah, we haven't got enough points at the moment. It's very, it's very, very close. It is incredibly close as to whether we have enough points or not to do this. Uh, <laughs> it's going to come down to the final lap. I don't know. I don't know which way it's going to go. With 50 points to the good. Of course, for winning the race, you get an extra 50 points as well, hence why uh, we are to the good at the moment. Oh, we're going to have a sliver through there. Uh, but it's fine. We are actually, yeah, we're clear of the, so we're clear of the Charger. Barring a missed checkpoint, the Charger just doesn't quite have the pace off-road. I mean, you'd expect that, let's face it. Uh, in in the world of Horizon 4, where we know all-wheel drive SUVs can be pretty damn fast in a lot of class racing, um, when it comes to an off-road stage, you would expect this to be able to beat the Charger. Uh, the Atomic, having got to its lead, is probably not that much faster around here than me. I think actually, probably the second I've been closest to that Atomic, it doesn't look fun across these bumps. The Atomic takes victory. I claim a very, very important second. What is going to happen? It's 50 points to the good. Come on, Disc. You can hold on to a sixth, and indeed, President Disc does, and that is what we needed. Just 50 points, and we squeak through. It's a very big squeak, but we squeak our way through to... <laughs> To the next, to the next round. I think we'll struggle potentially out in the out on the tarmac stage to finish. You never know, though. You never know. Well, this is it. The deciding round. The Broadway Village Circuit will play host. Where am I on the grid? Ooh. Okay. Well, good news for us. Our Atomic is starting at the front, on the front row. Certainly. The bad news for us is so is the limo i'm quite a long way back i know i can punch my way through the ghosts towards the first corner and probably make up i can probably make up a row off of the start line i don't know if i can get much further it depends on how fast starting some of these cars are i am worried about that chevy that thing was pretty good um when we raced it in that opening race that seemed to have a lot more grip than i did okay the limo it's not too shabby off the line it's not the best thing in the world though uh, so that uh, it gives us some hope. I suspect it will probably be better aerodynamics than, uh, than I've got in the Bronco. 
Corvette will come past and I'll get squeezed into the wall there, uh, which is less than ideal. I mean, like, points. <laughs> Points-wise, okay. I know it's only the first lap. I don't know if any of our cars... I mean, it's, it's, we're all struggling off the line. And you just lose so much time. Just try to, even, even if you've got the car, trying to work your way back up through the field is tough enough as it is. Hell, even if my vehicle is good here, which I'm not 100% sure it will work around this circuit, we'll find out as we go. Even if it does work, I've got so many cars to try and overtake. The Corvette, I think, has no straight line speed in in comparison. Oh, and Pega smacks the wall. Ah, uh, that's not what you want. Pega absolutely nails one of the sticking out bits of uh, festival wall. I mean, that's a little bit more hope for us. I say that. <laughs> I mean... I'll take the positions and the points. That's all good. Oh, Corvette's gonna oh, give us some trouble. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, I'm literally at the limit of my at the limit of my grip. If you're gonna sort of squeeze us against a wall, I can't do much about the uh, consequences of that. Lima's gonna give us a uh, little bit of a. You can give us a hurry up nudge. It's not gonna work. Yeah. <laughs> oh bugger. I may be able to get that. Third is looking at third as well. Assuming no one behind gets past, that's probably the best I can do. The other bro is weird. The other Bronco is terrible on the dirt, very good on the tarmac. My Bronco is mediocre on the tarmac, works very well on the dirt. I don't know how on earth we've managed to do that, because I, I don't think I can really keep up. And that green Bronco is not that far behind the Atomic. It's not really lost much ground to the Atomic over the course of these uh, last couple of laps. So, I don't know how on earth that Bronco is just... The different ways they have been built, how they've been tuned, etc. Uh, what parts have gone on to make them to the top of a car. I mean, they are different vehicles to, to work with. That's the new uh, DLC Bronco, the is it Barrett Jackson or whatever. Uh, Bronco, the kind of lifted up suspension. Uh, I don't know what other tweaks go on. But, uh, yeah, curious. Curious to see two very similar cars in the same class doing very, very different very different things. We're going to go side by side with the Chevy down towards the first corner. I mean, if I can sneak a third, we could almost get enough points in this. We'd need, we'd need someone else to to be scoring from further back, and I need to not lose ground in in this one. I need to not lose ground. I really need to pass the Chevy quickly, and slightly worried about the Charger. That has got some speed behind us. Yeah, we need points further back, but if I could sneak it past... We could possibly do it. Uh, I don't know if someone might have missed a... Uh, one of our cars might have missed a checkpoint. It's it's really close here. It is going to come down. It's going to come down to the wire. The Chevy hit a lamppost. The Chevy's been street furnitured. Could the street furniture that screwed me over so many times be the thing that... Uh, <laughs> It gets us past. It gets us past the Chevy. Now the Chevy's going to fight with his own teammate if they're not careful. They're going to need to get organised. We are 50 points to the good. Well, this could be an epic tale of a uh, red team. No, don't even say it. Don't even tempt the fate. One more lap in a car that is not very good around here, but it might just be fast enough down the start-finish straight to <laughs> give the blue team grief. Don't run wide. Don't hit a wall. Don't miss the braking. This next corner... I mean, this is kind of the, I say the important one. Get this, this, this particular one here right. Don't let there be enough space for a car to sneak past. We need the Atomic to take the win. The Atomic has to hold on, and I think it has. I think I'm far enough away from the Charger that if we don't mess up this final corner, we might have, we might have sneaked it. <laughs> we might, ever so slightly. I've sneaked it, but I don't know yet. We've crossed the line and it is ours. What will happen with the remainder, the lower part of the order? If they hold where they are, it'll be enough for red team. Oh, it's changed. It's changed again. It won't matter, though, because no one can score any more points, I don't think. We're going to do it by <laughs> 50. 50 points have done it. I think I've disconnected in all the excitement. 50 points. A Camaro scoring in 8th place. Uh, got us the points we needed to somehow take a victory. I'm not quite sure how we did it. Uh, <laughs> helped by, in some ways helped by the disconnection, I think. Uh, kind of. We might be able to score more points if they came to the tarmac, I don't know. Um, geez, the Atomic is very fast, even in these conditions, even in these... Um, 
well, every condition, all the all different road surfaces, the Atomic was fast. The Bronco was a solid podium car. The Bronco was a solid podium car everywhere. It worked well in the dirt, as you would hope. Oh, and scored us enough points. Importantly, we got some very important third places. Um, holding, holding at bay much more sensible cars. Christ. I mean, we had... I mean, the middle race, we had a bit of a no-man's-land drive in a second. But uh, as, as, a, as a team game goes, that was mad. We did it somehow. Somehow we would take a victory. Yeah, Bronco's not terrible. Not my best built A-class car, but did the job. That, though, is going to be it for this video. If you would like to take part in the next one, then you can via our forums. There'll be a link in the description. Find the Foul Race versus the Community section, and you can sign up to take part in there. That, though, is going to be it from me. Thank you all very much for watching. Until next time, a goodbye.